The Imperial Guard is the first line of defense and offense against enemies of mankind in the Grim Dark Universe. Be they Xenos, Mutants, Heretics or Chaos, they are composed of mainly baseline human soldiers who are well trained in the arts of combat and the use of advanced weaponry found in the Imperium. Their sizes, the regiments, are not standardized and they depend greatly on the situational necessities of raising up one of these combat regiments. They also differ according to where they were raised. The Caden Guard and the Creek, for example, have very different approaches to warfare and this in turn creates a rift in combat doctrines and feeling of soldiers in battle. The biggest regiment, for example, was regarded to be 750,000 strong, which is really exaggerated, while most of the others have their numbers in the thousands, or rarely in the tens of thousands. So here in this video, we will take a look at the troop arrangement of a particular regiment, the Cadian 114th, the Mechanized Infantry Regiment, one of the best. So let's get to it. This regiment has a total troop number of nearly 4,000, with 490 total vehicles, which includes tanks, troop carriers, artillery and others. So let's get to their structure. At first we have the HQ or the Headquarters Staff, which is comprised of 6 officers, 208 guardsmen and they operate 4 Chimera Armored Personal Carriers, which have a total troop capacity of up to 12 individual guardsmen or 6 Heavy Weapon Specialists. A regiment is typically commanded by a colonel and is divided into a number of fighting units called the Companies, each with a command staff of its own typically under a captain. Each company can consist of a number of further sub-units, again notionally called platoons, typically under a lieutenant. Each platoon in turn is being made of a number of individual squads of guardsmen under a sergeant. Anyway, the HQ staff has a total number of 214 troops including the officers. Then we have the signals company which manages all communications within the regiment, between the sub-units and with the high command, coordinating with non-imperial guard units as well and conducting enemy communication surveillance for the intelligence section. This company is composed of one intelligence officer, 11 guardsmen and they operate 3 Trojan support vehicles. Then we have the medical company which has a total of 4 officers and 44 guardsmen and they operate 10 Samaritan armored carriers which are repurposed for ferrying injured guardsmen to and fro in the battlefield. Then we also have the ordnance company which is composed of 1 officer, 24 guardsmen and they operate 5 atlas and 3 Trojan vehicles. They are responsible for military supplies including ammunition, armor and supporting of the combat troops. Now we come to the main branch. We come to the mechanized infantry companies, which have a total of 12 in number, 12 companies, each made up of one company HQ unit and four mechanized infantry platoons, with the total number of troops coming to around 254 per company, all in all making up the bulk of the mechanized infantry regiment with more than 3,000 soldiers and also 360 combat vehicles, mainly the Chimera APCs and a few Salamander Scout vehicles. The Chimera is armed with a turret-mounted multi-laser, a hull-mounted heavy bolter and 6 LAS guns, which gives it immense firepower. Or it can also have a heavy flamer on the turret depending on the requirements. The Salamander on the other hand is a fast-moving armored personal carrier armed with an autocannon on the turret and also a heavy bolter on the chassis. This vehicle is mainly used for scout operations. The Mechanized Infantry Company HQ is composed of two officers, eight guardsmen which operate from within a Salamander and a Chimera APC. These overlook the other 244 guardsmen in their company. The other Mechanized Infantry Platoons are composed of each a platoon command of one officer and four guardsmen inside a Chimera. And then there are the five Mechanized Infantry Squads within that platoon with an extra heavy weapon squad. The mechanized infantry squads each have 10 guardsmen inside one chimera while the heavy weapon squad has 6 guardsmen with heavy weapons, be it bolters, plasma guns, melter weapons or rockets, all 6 of them operating from within another chimera APC. After the bulk of the mechanized infantry regiment numbers in the mechanized infantry squads and platoons and companies, we also have the artillery brigade which operate from behind the front lines, providing heavy fire support and artillery barrages to pound the enemy fortified strongholds and also slowing down the advances of enemy troops that might in any way hinder the mechanized infantry companies and their movements in the battlefield. These artillery brigades is commanded by a brigade HQ unit made up of two officers and 42 guardsmen inside four chimeras. The artillery companies, three of them, make up a total number of 132 troops. Each company has four officers and 40 guardsmen each and they man 10 basilisk artillery turrets each which are self-propelled, therefore putting the number of artillery guns to 30. The adjacent heavy mortar companies, two of them also give heavy fire support, and they make up a total number of 80 soldiers, with each company composed of 36 soldiers, guardsmen, 
and four officers manning 10 Griffin heavy motor carriers. And with two companies, the total number of Griffins come to around 20. And lastly, in the artillery brigade, there is also an anti-aircraft company section, which operates 10 Hydra self-propelled anti-aircraft gun batteries, you know, to shoot down enemy aircraft. So this mechanized regiment also has one platoon of elite troops. These are called the Karskin or otherwise better known as the Cadian Stormtroopers. They are classified as Tempestus Science or Grenadiers by the Departmento Munitorum due to their elite status and utilization of heavy weaponry. Selected from skilled Cadian planetary forces, while still younglings, the White Shields, their training surpasses even the Imperial Stormtroopers, making them one of the best in the Imperial Guard with unwavering dedication to Cadia's defense. There are 54 stormtroopers with one officer operating inside this single platoon in this mechanized regiment, dedicated to special operations and subterfuge. Then after that we also have here the Sentinel Company, which are composed of 18 Sentinel pilots, which are guardsmen and an officer, 17 guardsmen and one officer. They each operate these 17 feet tall Sentinel mechanical walkers, which can be reconfigured for reconnaissance, battle, and also for medic roles as per the situational demands. Well, every battlefield army has to have scouts to move ahead of the main force in order to convey information regarding the battlefield and the enemy movements. In this regiment, this duty goes to the recon company, which has one company HQ squad of one officer and four guardsmen in a salamander fast moving vehicle, which oversee the movements and reconnaissance operations of these four recon squadrons. These four recon squadrons make up this company and each of the recon squadron has one officer and 15 guardsmen in four Salamanders APCs, therefore putting the total number of recon troops to 64. So attached to all these combat units and officers are the dreaded commissars, five of them who to say the least provide morale to the troops and also to execute the ones who flee from the battlefield or the ones that commit heresy. Along with these battle troops we also have the tech priests of Mars, the ones from the Adeptus Mechanicus. There are 33 of these tech priests and they operate the machines, intel, repair work and all that mechanical tech stuff and also at the same time they pray to the Omnissiah, to the machine spirits. You know, all that they are good for and with them are tons of servitors and cherubs. So with that we have the entire mechanized infantry regiment made out in front of you. Almost 4000 troops ready to give last gun fire and heavy ordnance against the enemies of mankind with the blessings of the emperor. And along with them, there are thousands more of support staff, which are non-combatants. So if you like this video, then check this other one as well. And if you want to browse for other Warhammer content, then check out our channel. Subscribe and like for support. And while you're at it, bang on the bell icon for notifications and new video uploads. Till the next time, take care, boys.